The gamma function shows up quite a bit in probability, so the following two slides do a quick introduction or review of the gamma function depending on whether you've seen it in the past. Keep in mind that this is the gamma function, it is not the gamma distribution. The definition of the gamma function is gamma of kappa is the integral from 0 to infinity of x raised to the kappa minus 1 power e to the minus x dx for kappa greater than 0. You can think of the gamma function as a smoothing of the factorials and by that I mean that gamma of k we're going to use k now rather than kappa assuming that k is an integer is equal to k minus 1 factorial. Now it would be a little more convenient if gamma of k was just k factorial but tradition indicates that it is going to be k minus 1 factorial which is to say if we want gamma of 1 that will be 0 factorial which is 1 gamma of 2 will be 1 factorial which is also 1 gamma of 3 will be 2 factorial which is 2 we'll do one more gamma of 4 is 3 factorial which is 6 so if I go to 1 and go to the gamma function I do get 1 and if I go to 2 I go to the gamma function I again get 1 if I go to 3 I should be up to 2 and I am and when you are at 4 this is all the way up here at 6. So this gamma function you can think of as smoothing out the factorials. It handles things like 2.6 factorial now has some meaning in terms of the gamma function. One other thing, this gamma function hits a minimum here at 1.46 and on the next page there are a few facts concerning the gamma function and here they are first of all as noted earlier when kappa is an integer gamma of kappa is kappa minus 1 factorial the gamma function is minimized at kappa of 1.4616 approximately gamma of kappa plus 1 is kappa times gamma of kappa for kappa greater than 0 and back when tables were used to calculate the gamma function that was important now we have the gamma function built into almost every language. Another thing is that gamma of one half turns out to be the square root of pi. So if you went back to the previous page and went to one half and you went up to the gamma function across here you would get the square root of pi. The gamma function is calculated in R with the function gamma and the gamma function is calculated in maple with gamma but this time in all uppercase. So when we return back to the moments of the exponential distribution if you look at the result for the expected value of x to the s instead of any s value greater than negative 1 if you actually put in a positive integer this turns out to be s factorial divided by lambda to the s. So for example if you plug in s equals 1 you will get 1 over lambda square I'm sorry 1 over lambda for the expected value of x and there it is. Likewise if you want the expected value of x squared that will be 2 factorial divided by lambda squared and that expected value of x squared of course can be used to calculate the variance of x by the shortcut formula giving you 1 over lambda squared. The same can be said for calculating the variance which is equal to 2 and the kurtosis which is equal to 9.